place. People have been great, the organisers. So yeah, made to feel welcome and everything's going okay, yeah. Done the, uh, the competition in the ring, which that was uh, very tight. There wasn't much room in there, so, and uh, the basketball one as well. So the two driving ones are out of the way. The drive down here was very nerve wracking. Um, and then once I got here, we got, we got, gave us a briefing, relaxed us down a little bit, but now it's getting closer to the time of the practicals and the nerves are coming back slightly, but it's all good fun. I'm coming down with John Wayne, right, one of the competitors in the, uh, the competition. Um, Give him a bit of coaching the last couple of weeks, not that he needs much. And uh, it's, it's, it's a good day out all round, to be honest. And it really raises the profile of the poor old fort, talk operator for starters, because they, they don't get the credit they, they deserve a lot of the time. And it's nice to showcase the talents, to be honest. Um, should be more of them in my eyes. I'm really enjoying it down here because it raises a profile of forklift operators um, and it enforces the importance of operator training um, and obviously the, the ability of the operator in the workplace and from a manufacturer or company's point of view uh, it enforces the fact that if you have good operators they're trained to a national standard it really means that uh, they're going to get less damage, they're going to get less injuries uh, and I just think a day like today really enforces that and raises the profile of that. Well, I was invited by um, Laura Nelson from RTITB. Uh, my role in the Health and Safety Executive is to manage the team that looks after workplace transport, which includes um, the uh, code of practice and guidance on forklift truck trainers. So that's very interesting, I and mean, I'm not a competent or trained forklift truck operator. To see the kind of um, tests that these guys have to do is really very impressive. Um, and it looks uh, very, very difficult. I think the important thing is to recognise that you need trained, competent operators when driving uh, forklift trucks, just like you would for any other vehicle. Uh, I mean, what the competition does is make it clear to employers, to trainers and the lads themselves that being a good, competent operator has benefits, uh, both for safety and for you as an individual. <laughs>